Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Marker Prep video for October 4th, 2021. Well, we had a nice little rally on Friday. Um, it was probably a little bit nerve wracking in the beginning. We gapped up in the morning and then once again sold off to retest some lows in the charts before we were able to see those bulls step up and defend and we had a nice little short squeeze rally. But unfortunately, it really didn't resolve the bearish picture of these charts. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Well, doggone it, we still have, even with that short squeeze rally on Friday, we still have a bearish picture in these charts. And unfortunately, we have some uncertainty that is continuing to crop up on Sunday. Evergrande, the, um, the big Chinese developer, um, shares were halted in Hong Kong um, as they missed another $120 million bond payment. Um, risking some major problems um, over there. There was also another developer that ended up halting because they are also under some pressure. Um, so kind of spread a little bit of a contagion over into Hong Kong. Um, Hong Kong market sold off um, pretty sharply last night as a result. And although while that's going on, Japan sold, sold off, but the Chinese market is close. So there's a little bit of a wait and see going on over there because China's markets will be closed from Monday through Thursday, won't reopen until Friday for a holiday. So what does that mean for us? Well, we just have this little bit of uncertainty uh, going around here in the market and just that concern um, of what could happen next. So take a look here. We, we continue to maintain this downtrend here in the chart. And although that rally was really um, substantial as they squeezed those short traders out for the weekend, notice that we really didn't resolve anything. We didn't break through resistance levels in the chart. That doesn't mean that we can't, but remember we're not going to have any kind of a bullish market here unless we can break above that hold and then show some buyers stepping up here into the chart. Unfortunately this morning we're seeing a little bit of bearishness coming into the market. You can see we're pushing down just a little bit. Only going to give up about a hundred points here maybe at the open. So watch that closely. Could be a little bit of a consolidating move in here. We could fill out this area under Underneath this downtrend that wouldn't be too bad a deal if we kind of filled out this area maybe hold this support and kind of fill this area in out here just kind of resting maybe spilling off a little bit of this volatility but we'll want to keep a pretty close eye on that as you know over the weekend there were quite a lot there was a lot of conversation about supply chain problems and things like that that were um, cropping up, creating some uncertainty out there for the um, next few months. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the charts. And this doesn't help anything at all either. With that 50-day moving average, notice that 50-day moving average has started to turn over just slightly. We have our shorter term averages like the 34 EMA, the 200 um, crossing down through providing that price resistance area right in here. So if we can get those bulls to defend, we're gonna run into potentially some resistance somewhere between this area and this area, some substantial price resistance technically in the chart, not only price, but technicals. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now SPY 
also had a nice relief rally on Friday, but once again, didn't resolve some of these technical issues in the chart. We still have a significant price resistance in this chart right through here. And notice that if we were to push even a little bit higher, there's still quite a bit of price resistance right there in the chart. So as we maintain ourselves underneath this downtrend, perhaps, um, filling this area out in here would be um, a good thing to do. Notice that we have um, a little bit of hold here. Now, unfortunately, Friday, we did push lower here. Notice that we did technically maintain this downtrend, creating that new low. So watch this in here. We might just consolidate over here and fill out this area. Remember, there's no bullishness until we break through that downtrend and hold. And we still run that risk that we could continue to see new lows here in the market. This head and shoulders pattern is definitely in play on the SPY. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our technicals here and notice that our 34 EMA, our 20 exponential moving average have crossed down through that 50. And that 50 has started to flatten and maybe just starting to turn uh, just a slight bit to the downside. So you'll wanna watch that carefully if we rally back toward that level. Let's take a look at our uh, NASDAQ. Now our NASDAQ has been running into this doggone issue of these rising bonds. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But as you can see, we rallied back um, almost, there we go. We rallied back um, just a little bit on Friday after setting a new low in the chart. So it really didn't raise any um, good technical vibes, although it did leave behind a little bit of a bullish um, candle pattern being a hammer. But remember, a hammer candle pattern requires follow through to confirm it. And as you can see, we have a significant level of price resistance here in the NASDAQ and um, quite a resistance level here in the chart that we need to get back above. So with the bears pushing on a little bit here this morning, we'll wanna watch this carefully to see whether or not we hold uh, Friday's low or and, and just kind of bounce around in here, or if those bears kind of take over and continue to push down. We do have bonds rising just ever so slightly this morning, and that's creating some pressure here. So watch that closely. Remember guys, if, if we fail, um, if we fail through a level of price support right in here, notice there really isn't much price support in that chart all the way through this area, we could drop pretty hard in the NASDAQ if that fails. So watch that closely. And our technicals in the chart certainly are not improved uh, by Friday's price action. Notice the 34 crossing down, 20 will be crossing down through the 50 today. And that 50 day moving average is starting to flatten out. So watch that close. Let's take a look at these bonds. Now bonds had a nice little pullback on Friday and that was that is some sweet relief I think for uh, the NASDAQ but notice that we have this uptrend we've got support levels in this chart that are still holding so watch that closely we certainly could see these uh, this is the 10-year Treasury we certainly could see that 10-year Treasury catch a little price support in here and start back up and the same would be true um, of the 30 year. The 30 year had a nice little pullback, but we're still holding some price support in this chart on that 30 year. So watch this closely. Remember, this not only puts some pressure on the, the NASDAQ, but this could really put some pressure on the overall market if our bonds continue to be bought up like this it's showing a bit of a risk off so watch that carefully if that were to hold in this area of support and they are lifting just ever so slightly here this morning let's take a look at our iwm now our russell um, interestingly enough has been the weakest of the indexes for a long long time 
but it's starting to prove itself to be one of the stronger of the indexes. And unfortunately, it's stronger because of some kind of some bearish things happening with um, energy shortages showing up in China, energy shortages showing up in Europe, lots of pressure is, and then we have the inflationary pressure of um, energy itself <clears throat> moving um, up. And that has helped the um, IWM maintain this little upside trend here in the chart. Unfortunately, though, it's not resolving um, some other issues that we have here technically, and that is this downtrend here in the chart. So we're building this symmetrical triangle or this wedging pattern in here. But Friday's rally was the most significant in changing the technical picture here in um, IWM. Now, is it possible we could um, just range in here? Absolutely. Um, so watch that carefully. Um, we could just range around in that zone. But we did, on the technical picture, we did get the price back above the 200 and the 50-day moving average on Friday, so watch that closely. I am concerned, however, that this 50 could certainly drift down below that 200 here soon. We could see kind of that death cross coming into the Russell, so watch that closely. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our VIX <coughs> on Friday had a nice little pullback with that relief rally um, that that was a really nice thing to see. Um, honestly, it, it provided that sweet relief to the selling. But here again, it really didn't resolve much. That is a bearish engulfing candle, which is a nice sign, but that bearish engulfing candle requires a follow through. And unfortunately, we are still holding up here above that 20 handle. And I've mentioned this for some time. Um, that 20 handle is a big level in this price, in this chart. And if we hold above that 20 level and we maintain this little uptrend in here, that could be a problem. So watch this carefully. If we hold that, we could certainly see that fear continue to spike up here in the market. So watch that closely. Well, what this means is um, even if we do move up in the market or move down in the market, it's likely to, to occur with quite a little bit of price volatility. And that's what this is showing us here, that that fear um, issue, that fear and greed is playing some pretty heavy, heavy hands in the market right now. And that means we could see those ugly whipsaws. We can see those complete overnight reversals. We could just see some, some junky price action. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our T2122. This is the four week new high, new low ratio. What was interesting, um, although we resolved um, that short squeeze rally and really pushed things up, it didn't fix um, anything in here. And I was honestly kind of surprised to see how much it surged back to the upside, though, though we really didn't fix a whole lot here. So let's notice that where we're at right here, T2122 does not tell us um, which way the market's going to go. What it does tell us is where those pressure points are. And I was honestly a little bit surprised that even though we had the push back in the market on Friday, we at, we never did reach um, that oversold condition. So kind of an interesting circumstance here in the market. So what we've done is if we can find bullishness in the market, we ha certainly have upside opportunity here in that chart if we can move up here toward that um, uh, bearish reversal zone. But what, what we also did is we just opened up a window that could make um, a sell-off even more painful if we have um, um, some inspiration from those bears. So keep a close eye on that. Um, it's hard to know what to do when we're kind of stuck here in the middle. It's like we're trying to straddle a fence, trying to decide which side of the which side of the fence we want to uh, to jump over to. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our T twenty one oh seven. This is that. Um, percentage of stocks below, or excuse me, above their 200 day moving average. And notice we had a nice little rally in here. So we did have a little bit of a technical improvement in here. Notice we created a little higher low in that, um, 
in that chart, but unfortunately we're still maintaining this downtrend. So watch that carefully. This area right in here could serve as a bit of a price resistance. So if we can get those bulls to defend and push on through, we could see an improvement here on those stocks. Um, if they can push through that area and hold. Unfortunately, if they were to fail here, um, we could have some more problems with more and more stocks drifting below their 200 day moving average. So watch that carefully. As it stands this morning, we have only about 44% of our stocks um, that happen to be above the um, 200 day moving average. So a little bit of a, an issue there. Our T2101, even with that relief rally that we had yesterday, notice that we saw really no increase in market breadth, which we would typically see in a good strong short squeeze. But watch that carefully. We're kind of sinking back down in here. Um, Doug on it. Um, momentum seems to be a real problem here for us in the market um, i think it's just a it's all this uncertainty um, all this talk of bubble all of these things out there creating a little bit of pressure let's take a look at our economic calendar here in the market our economic calendar we've got a busy busy week here t this week um, on the calendar with some heavy-handed reports. So first off, we're going to start off um, the week pretty slow here. We've got motor vehicle sales this morning. Um, again, we've got Fed speakers out there yakking away. We're going to have factory orders here today, and that really is about all that we have going here for today keep in mind that tomorrow we've got international trading goods we've got the ism number out there and then wednesday we start those heavy-handed reports where we're going to see adp that's the private payrolls per report we'll want to keep an eye on that we're going to want to kind of pay close attention to this energy number um, last week we saw a surprise build in those um, in those um, supplies which would kind of suggest that um, people are pulling back um, uh, when energy prices um, rise like this people don't spend as much and that means that we could actually be building in those supplies because we're constraining our economy so watch that closely we'll want to watch that and um, then we have jobless claims here on Thursday and then the Mac Daddy of the week is going to be that employment situation number. So keep in mind, guys, we could run into some price volatility, but don't be too surprised if we just kind of stagnate a bit in the market once we start approaching these big market moving numbers. And that's pretty common where the market just becomes light and choppy as we try to decide um, what to do ahead of that, that data. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Our earnings calendar calendar. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's like 13 companies listed on the calendar. But um, I can only come up with one that is um, a confirmed report and at least somewhat notable. And that would be um, CMTL um, will be reporting today. Looks like they're trying to gap just a little tiny bit higher this morning. So keep a close eye on that. Communications there we go um trying to break through that little downtrend so uh, watch that closely notice this nice little uptrend going so trying to pop on through some of that resistance watch that one let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up today but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you feel these videos or this video is worthy please click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow it's the engagement in the channel that or engagement in the videos that makes the difference and I do appreciate that um, also thank you to everyone who supports the channel with buy me a coffee once again you're gonna start seeing some changes here soon um, and it's kind of exciting for me that it, it, it actually creates quite a little bit more work for me but it's kind of exciting 
and um, some fun changes that um, we'll start to see here on the channel before too long. So watch for that. Let's take a look at some stocks that may be setting up. Uh, but before we do that, guys, remember that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. When you look at some of these charts, you're going to have to be very, very careful um, with what you do right now because of the volatility of the market. And some of them are just kind of starting to set up. So let's take a look at a few of those. Let's take a look at KMI. KMI, pretty nice looking chart here. Notice that this chart is coming up out of this downtrend. This is a natural gas pipeline. And notice we've pushed through some resistance in the chart and we're starting to show that higher low. And by the way, this is what I call that tried and true reversal pattern. And I've got a video coming out on this soon. Watch that closely. This tried and true, it's a beautiful little pattern where we finally start reversing back to the upside, holding some support. If we take a look at the technicals here, notice we created a nice little level of price support with all of our moving averages right in here. So we could also get that benefit of a little bit of a moving average squeeze coming into this chart. And we know energy has been pretty pretty healthy here recently. So watch that closely. We could start to see a stock like KMI perk back higher here, looking pretty good overall. Take a look at YY. YY is another one of those where we break this major downtrend here in the chart and we start to hold some of these higher lows. Now, if we look at the technicals, we're hanging out right there at that 50 day moving average. So watch that closely. I've actually placed a price alert right here on that chart chart. We had a little bit of bearishness showing up in there on Friday, so I can't say that this is going to start that move back up, but watch that carefully and see if that can push on through um, in those charts. Another area you might want to take a look at, it's a little bit iffy uh, to me, if you take a look at the financials. Now financials had a nice little recovery on uh, on Friday, pushed up strongly, but doggone it, we're, we're just in this really weird um, area of the market. Notice how we've kind of created these multi-high uh, chart here. We're trying like crazy to hold that 50-day moving average, trying so hard. So there is still some effort um, going into to buying these financials. We'll want to watch that closely. And for me, I think for me, I'm going to need to see something in here improve just a little bit, but I think there is a possibility that that could occur. So watch that carefully. If we could create that higher low, maybe pop through that resistance or move on through and hold up here, then we've got some upside in that chart. Um, back on the energy side of things, guys, if you're taking a look at energy, um, take a look at stocks like Devon. Devon has been extremely strong. Now this needs a rest or a pullback, I think, to make um, any kind of trade in it. It's a little bit stretched out in the short term. Take a look at ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil had that little rest in here and then went ahead and pushed on higher Friday. So watch some of these price resistance levels in here for a little bit of a resting consolidation or something. See if you can find your way into some of those energy stocks. And last but not least, let's take a look at um, AMD here. Now, we know that there's been um, quite a shortage here in chips and AMD being a semiconductor producer. I've been keeping a close eye on this. We started a process here where we were trying to break that downtrend right here. And then that selling wave came into the market, brought some pressure in. What I'm watching here on AMD at this point is that possibility that we could hold this low right in here. So watch that carefully. If we can actually pop through up here and hold, there might be some upside opportunity here on some of these semiconductors, AMD being one of those. And the fact that it's been sold down a little bit makes that a little bit better. You could also take a look at a company like On Semiconductor. Had a had quite a sell off here recently, but notice we have a pretty substantial level of price support right through here. If that can hold, there is that possibility we could pick back up in here. Semiconductors are obviously something in major 
uh, in major demand and that can help these recover pretty quickly. So just a few ideas for you here today. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very best. Thank you so much for being here. Have an awesome, awesome day. We're going to see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the best in your journey today.